Hello, I'm Jesse from Mad Wombat. Today we're going to be building an affordable workbench for the beginner. Mad Wombat. So the materials we're going to need today is some 70 by 35 timber. I've already cut it out. Uh, these are the side rails, front and back rails, we've got four of them and four of them, four legs. My workbench here is actually going to be the workbench top, which is a piece of 16mm MDF. Going to need some screws, some glue, a rag, a hand saw, or a power saw, depending on what you have. You're going to need to be able to measure, so you're going to need a measuring tape. I've got a spare square to help me with my cutting to keep it all straight. Some drill bits, a drill, some clamps. I've also got these saw horses down here, so I'll have a workbench to work on in the meantime until my workbench is finished. So the way I figured out the measurements was I wanted to go on this wall here between the two windows and I've got about 1700 to fit in between. I went down to my local hardware store and I seen they had this MDF here which is 1600mm long so that will fit in there pretty nicely. Um, I wanted it about belly button height. It's about 900mm for me. So that gives me a nice working area. It will be nice to stand at and I won't be bending over. So I've cut the legs just shy of 900 to account for the 16mm top. And I want a decent sized working space. This is about 600 wide, which is I think going to be enough for me. So as you can see, got it all nice and square. And this is pretty much gonna screw down onto the MDF below it like it is but we're gonna put that part on last I haven't done any mortared edges or anything like that because I don't have a mortar saw and it's a bit tricky to do with a skill saw so just square ends get square ends like I said this is also for the beginners as well so there's nothing too tricky here it's just basically knocking up a base and then screwing on the top and also this project was relatively cheap, only cost me about $50 in materials, plus another $20 for the tools I didn't have. But you could probably purchase all these tools down here for another $50 if you go to a cash converters or something similar. Alright, let's get screwing. Got a four and a half mil drill bit here, and I'm going to drill some pilot holes in the timber, and then I'll screw it together.
so that's all screwed up together. Now we're going to put on the legs. And the legs. We're going to sit inside the frame we've just made. We're going to screw it twice there. And four times there. Now we're going to put the legs on. Just make sure they're all square. And make sure you're missing these screws that we've screwed before. So you just want to screw just under them. Before we put the four screws in on the side, we'll just check to see if it's all square. It's nice and square. And now we just screw it all up. Pretty sturdy. Now we're going to make them sturdier by putting the rest of the rails on it about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure down, so about 200 mil. We'll mark the line, and then we're going to sit the rails where the line is. Okay, so we 
clamp this rail into place and now we're going to drill it and screw it. We've got it sitting on our 200mm mark down there. And we're going to do that with the rest of them. Same, same sort of deal as what's going on down there. There's going to be six screws on this side and two screws on this side. So, yep. So now it's time to put on the workbench top. So we're going to have 120mm overhang on the each side and 100mm overhang on the front. That's going to be flush at the back so it's hard up against the wall. So what we're going to do is we're just going to measure in 120 and we're just going to go a little bit in front of that with our 10-15mm and we're going to mark where we're going to drill We don't need to mark up on the back because we know where that button is, it's right on the edge. Now we're going to go ahead and countersink these because we don't want the screws coming up above the top where they can scratch the work. I'll just use a normal Phillips bit.
Now it's time to glue. Right now we want to put the tabletop back on, lining up all the holes that we just drilled. Okay, now that we've screwed the top down, pretty much done. All we need to go around and do now is clean up all the glue, which I've already started doing. And so this is the finished table. Thanks for sharing this experience with me. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please like, share and subscribe. And if you didn't like what you've seen, then maybe leave a comment below and tell me what I can improve on. Don't forget to add me on Instagram, I'll leave a link below. And thank you for watching. Look at that butt. Mm-mm. No.